Spider-Man film. Honestly, if, if you're going to make a good Spider-Man film, you have to leave it to Marvel. Honestly, you cannot, you can't have, like, Sony, they, they just don't click well. They just don't, man. I, you know, I, I it, it really sucks because I think, because that's crazy. Because coming from two great movies, you know, Far From Home and Homecoming, two great movies. I'm sorry for the phone, by the way. But, so, coming from two great uh, films. It sucks it had to turn out this way. It really does because I really wanted I really wanted to see um, Spider Man uh, continue. Because remember, Far From Home ended off in a crazy cliffhanger, um, so and I really want to see what was going to happen next in the film. I'm not trying to give out any spoilers or nothing, but still, you know. But it sucks. It really does. It's a shame. Um, what are you going to do about it? So we're about to watch my man's uh, comic book here and we're about to see what, see what we can get into. Let's go. Make sure it's in. All right, we good. Lag up. After history has shown us that you can't trust Sony handling Spider-Man alone when it comes to live action, it looks yep. like that's exactly what Sony plans to do with Tom Rothman in charge. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting video because I have to break down the insanity behind this. And as always, before we get into it, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Tom Rothman. Some of you might know his name if you've been a fan for long enough. You guys know he was very important when it came to the X-Men franchise. In the first two films, he wasn't as important, but he got bumped up when it came time to make X-Men 3. And all those rush decisions and, and mistakes that were made and X-Men 3 ended up being a bomb is because of him. But then as the licensing goes, after X-Men 3, they didn't know what to do and Tom Rothman didn't want to spend more money on making a fourth X-Men movie due to the actors wanting a pay raise. So he made X-Men Origins Wolverine, and the only reason that the X-Men name Which is in X-Men Origins Wolverine is because they had to make X-Men films every three to four years to be able to keep the license. And of course, he ended up cutting budget pretty much everywhere he saw fit, and he ended up changing things on the fly. Like, he wrote, he rewrote parts of the script, which wasn't his job, with X3 and Origins. So, as Hollywood would have it, you always fail upwards, and he went to Sony after Amy Pascal decided to take a step down due to those leaked emails. Now, Pascal made Spider-Man in the MCU possible. Tom Rothman has a very big grudge against Disney and Marvel specifically. Oh, yeah, specifically isn't that obvious? Also, Kevin Feige, because Kevin Feige decided he didn't like what Rothman was doing with X-Men and said, I'm gonna take all these characters and make Marvel Studios. Rothman laughed at him, and, well, history has shown us what happened. So now, <laughs> as we're hearing, Tom Rothman is one of the core people behind Sony's decision not to to play ball with Disney when it came to all the arrangements. And he believes that he's learned everything he can from Kevin Feige and how they write and make movies and that he's going to be the Kevin Feige of the Sony live action universe going forward. After he found himself making money with the likes of Venom and the upcoming Morbius he hopes is a success. Now this is honestly insane. You know this guy as I've just told you I've recapped a quick history of him. He does not have a good track record when it actually comes to being in charge of these things. He doesn't care. He comes in there and he wants it done on the cheap and he wants it done quick. So the uh, one man, well, Spider Man's in bad hands, huh? Okay, like Spider Man is actually going to be in bad hands. For the last 20 years he's not even trying to put the effort in. Trying to make these movies bad. I guess it's but. just a wait and see game, and we're going to see how he's going to be able to pull this off if he does. And do you guys think he's actually learned anything from Kevin Feige and watching how they make these films? Because to me. Rothman's gonna Rothman, and I don't trust a single thing he's saying. Unbelievable. So this guy, so turns out, it's like, so this guy's not even. They, oh gosh, this this ah oh boy ah, it's a shame, man, because I love Spider Man so much. But what are you gonna do, bro? I mean, listen, it happens. Stuff like the business happens. You got two greedy companies, bro. Me, not much you can do about it. So um, hey, man. It's all good. You know, we got to uh, keep pushing forward. Hopefully, maybe we'll get some good Spider-Man films, bro, from Sony. Maybe they'll maybe they'll try to bring back those Spider-Man 2 vibes that, that we had and stuff like that. Who knows what's going to happen, honestly. I don't know. But um, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel as of late. We are at 623 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We are growing. I'm um, growing pretty good, so let's, let's, let's keep grinding, man. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I uh, probably have a Cyberpunk video dropping later today. Or, yeah, later today. And, um, yeah, anyway. Bye, Z. All right, guys.